my god! And hello everyone, it's me, Iron Opera, and today we're playing in the Millennium Dawn mod, Harsh Variant 4, so you guys recommended to me to play as Uzbekistan and free it from being double landlocked. So for freeing Uzbekistan from being double landlocked or landlocked, we have to get some sea access. We have to get to the Black Sea, to the Mediterranean Sea, or to the Indian Ocean. So that means that we either have to take Turkey, Syria, Iraq, Iran, Pakistan, Russia, some countries around here. So I think the easiest way to free Uzbekistan fr from being landlocked is to take Turkmenistan, uh, Afghanistan and then Pakistan or Iran. We'll see. So guys, let's start with Uzbekistan and we start by being a nationalist. So let's go. Guys, don't forget to give me some challenges because I can play them. I can make a video and try to make your challenges that you suggest. Alright guys, we actually start with 8 pretty good divisions, I'm pretty surprised. Let's throw this guy, Stalin's sacred brother, to the front lines, let's go. We actually have a pretty decent air force and it's not flying horses, I'm surprised. Yeah, I think we'll start with the industrial focus because we need a strong industry. Alright guys, let's start just flying on Turkmenistan, which leader looks like he's fucking flashbanged. He can't see jack shit. Um, I guess next we could go for some more military industry. We're completely peaceful UN, don't worry about us. I love this party name. Oh, question mark, lead up movement. All right, we need to develop our industry. Um, Hussein, what are you doing? I think Stalin might return in Georgia. Uh, shit. Okay, I think it's our time to change the conscription law to limited conscription. So we could get some more manpower, come on. What the fuck is happening to the world? Greenland is going communist too. What is happening, Greenland? What will you eat? Snow? Ice? I, I have no idea. <laughs> Wait. Why is Nicaragua led by Boogie? Boogie is this year? Alright, we've finished our industrial development. Now we can go for some peaceful military industry once again. Pope is going reactionary democracy. Pope. Why are you leaving monarchism? Pope, no, why? More countries, everyone is going communist, why? Oh my god, this is a fucking gangster! Togo has a great leader. Oh shit, I think Cuba is trying to learn what's democracy. And Jamaica is going communist. I, I love them switching places. Where are the teeth of this guy? I can't see anything in his mouth. Alright, let's pick our next focus. So, either we go peacefully, make some civilian industry, make some toys. No, fuck that, let's go militaristic. I'm extremely sorry, my Slovenian fans, but why is there a pedophile leading Slovenia? Oh shit, Hitler would like this. Alright guys, we're going to war with Turkmenistan with this flashbanged guy. I think he won't even see the declaration of war. His eyes are like fucked up because of the sun. Let's go. Oh shit, shit, shit. Okay, we're winning there. We could attack into this city. Alright, they're trying to push through the north. We'll try to stop them. Okay, great. Our plan is to encircle them as quick as possible. As many units, okay. Um, no, don't, do not retreat. Come on, we need to encircle this division. Come on! Alright, we've encircled the division, now we're taking this little city. Alright, we're crushing them, we're encircling them, everything is going great. We're going town by town towards their capital. Okay, they didn't, they didn't capitulate from taking their capital. We have to take Balkan Abbas. What? What? Balkan Bat? Okay, whatever. Okay, come on, take the Balkan Bats. Oh, we won, alright. Oh, they have a lot of oil here. So, time to take Turkmenistan. We have the access to the Caspian Sea, but... But that does not mean anything, because Caspian Sea is a lake, so... We have to take Afghanistan, Pakistan, or just Iran. Iran and Pakistan are very strong nations. This will be very difficult, but we'll try to take Afghanistan. Um, Ukraine is going communist. Alright. Uh, let's see, why can't we seek friendship? Um, Uzbekistan has a democratic form of government. What do you mean? No elections? That's, that's democracy. <laughs> what the fuck? Why am I not allowed? Alright, let's change our economy to early mobilization. Coop in Vatican City. There's like one guy coop against the Pope. How can you coop in the Vatican City? And nothing changed. Papal faction. What the... What the fuck, Yemen? 
Um, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to show this shit, but okay. Oh my god, look at those colors in Yemen. And how how old is this leader? What the hell is happening? What is that flag? Oh god. What is that faction name? Alright, we got some new territory. What is this communism in the United States? Why is it increasing? Why is it increasing so quick? Oh my god, Turkey has all colors in it. Afghanistan progressive? What What are they doing? Defending the fucking sand of Afghanistan? It doesn't look like it. There's fucking desert storms over Afghanistan. I don't know how will they save the environment. And Iran is jumping communist. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! Israel fascist! I swear, I did not touch the game! I can open the console, I've done nothing to the game! I'm not supposed to even show this probably or I'll get demonet- What? What? What could be first? These two things together! These two shits together. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright guys, let's go on partial mobilization. Oh, Russian please Chechnya. Wait, Kingdom of Poland? Oh my god, this guy is fucking handsome. <laughs> but these parties. Oh my god, communist Greenland. That flag though. I think it's time to just find Afghanistan before the US does anything in there. Okay guys, we're just fighting against Afghanistan. Oh, Greece became nationalist. I finally have friends. Pakistan is going communist also. Okay, what the fuck is this world? Libya? Progressive? Oh my god, what is happening with the Millennium Dawn mod? Austria, communist. Czechia, communist also. Okay guys, I think we should get an infantry specialist, so let's get Jim Walker. Okay, UK is going communist also. India fascist, oh my god, who the hell is this? Wait, the Indian fascist party is literally called the SAS. Palestine went progressive. Yeah, NATO is slowly collapsing part by part because people are picking other ideologies and getting kicked out of the alliance. We're about to build a steel factory and it is built in our capital, awesome. So, our justification is ready against Afghanistan, but we'll wait a few days. Okay, time to get another specialist in here. Armor, army regrouping. Let's get armor. Time to declare war in Afghanistan. Let's go. Okay, my plan is to play defensive at the start of the war and make some casualties for the Afghani side. Alright, we're breaking through the Afghani lines and it's going pretty good actually. I didn't even have to defend at the start. But let's not be too happy this early because remember how the US and the Soviets failed in here. Alright, time to take the Afghani capsule. Oh shit, they're trying to encircle us. This ain't good. Alright, come on. Let's fix this issue. Great. Alright, let those guys take casualties in the middle of the mountains. They're encircled. They have no chance. Okay, they're about to lose three to four divisions. Okay, four now. Okay, let's go. Let's go here. Okay, we've taken about half of Afghanistan. Okay, we won. Woohoo. Afghanistan is ours, guys. Now it's the biggest challenge. We either have to go for Pakistan or Iran to get access to the Indian Ocean. Pakistan, a lot of divisions. Iran, a shit ton of divisions. I think we're gonna go for Pakistan because it looks like it's a little bit easier one. Time to get the fortification engineer to fortify the shit out of our and the Pakistani border so we can have a shit ton of land force. Major communist rally, oh shit. Let's get a popular figurehead for some stability because our country's stability doesn't look that good. Alright guys, let's pick the artillery specialist, we'll need him, we have a lot of artillery. Time to justify against Pakistan. Here we are, making a peaceful army, this is very peaceful, of course, of course. Oh god, this lag, the African alliance have been created. Who has the focus to make that, Ethiopia? Oh my fucking god, I'm not sure. The African Union, I, yeah, I think Ethiopia can do that. This is crazy. Alright guys, I think it's time to go to war with Pakistan. This is gonna be a difficult war and we might even lose it, but I hope we won't. So let's start the war, let's declare war. Okay, we're holding somewhere. 
we're holding pretty much everywhere with our land fort that I've been building here. Um, okay, so we're doing fine there. I'm trying to push in the south to get some access to the sea. Come on, keep fighting. They have a lot of manpower, that's the difficult thing. They have a shit ton of manpower. Okay, we're trying to push in the south. Okay, it's not going bad, it's not going as bad as I thought. Come on, guys. Keep pushing them out. Don't let them even stop, just overrun them. Come on, keep going. Oh shit, come on. I'm waiting for my artillery or my infantry to arrive here. We need more units. Okay, Grave, you're beating the shit out of them. Let's see the casualties. Uh, 14k, 35k. Okay, we're doing good. Come on, guys, we're so close to getting some coast. Break through the fucking line. Take the coast. They really don't want to give up on this shit. They don't want to give us coast, but we need the sea. We need the access. This is the goal of our challenge. We're about to break them there. Nope. They're just throwing everything they have here to stop us. No, we're unstoppable. Keep breaking. God, no, we're losing there. Okay, we got some coast, finally. For God's sake, okay. But the challenge isn't yet completed. We have to capitulate Pakistan, which is a little bit difficult. Come on, keep breaking them. Okay, we're right next to Islamabad, so we're right next to their capital and... We have to take it, but first we need to kill all of these units down here. Okay, we took the naval base here. Okay, we're encircling their units. Come on, keep killing them. No stop. Islamabad says now it's ours, but Pakistan still exists. Do they have a capital somewhere? Which I cannot see. I don't know. Let's continue fighting. Pakistan is out of manpower. This guy's probably hiding in the mountains with fucking... Zero manpower being communist eating rocks and fucking dying. Encircling Pakistani divisions in the middle of the desert and the mountains. Just keep continuing it and they should capitulate really soon. 95% towards capitulation. Yes! We won guys, we won. Pakistan has finally capitulated. Time to annex it. We did it, we did it. We are no longer landlocked. Not once, not twice, we are no longer landlocked. We have access to the sea. And we made our country super powerful. 27 military factories, 38 civilian factories. Not bad, not bad. So, yeah guys, what would I like to say is that we completed the challenge. It was really fun playing as Uzbekistan and trying to get yourself some sea, <laughs> sea access, I guess. So. Yeah guys, you can leave your own challenges below, give me some challenges, what should I do next, what mod, what country should I play, and what should I do. Alright guys, thank you all for watching, don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button if you liked the video, and yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.